briefcase, briefs, and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. The Delaware Court of Chancery oversaw a defining case in 2011, centered around the attempted acquisition of Air Gas Inc. by Air Products and Chemicals Inc., a contentious prospect that the court determined would ultimately require enhanced judicial scrutiny by following the Unical standard. Air Products aimed to acquire all outstanding shares of Air Gas Inc. cause, but faced opposition when Air Gas firmly rejected the offer. This led Air Products to challenge Air Gas's defensive actions in court, arguing that the board intended to thwart competition rather than honor its fiduciary duties to stakeholders, and thereby placing them squarely within the UNOCAL standard of judicial scrutiny. Air Gas employed various defensive measures, notably the implementation of a controversial poison pill strategy. The court rigorously analyzed these defenses during court proceedings, concluding that they were neither coercive nor disallowed, entirely within the company's rights and obligations in fending off a hostile takeover. Air Gas's board of directors were considered to have acted justly in their rejection of the offer from Air Products on the deliberation that it didn't align with the long-term financial health of the corporation. Meanwhile, Air Products' acquisition bid was deemed by the court as non-coercive, lacking the specific threat to Air Gas's corporate policy and effectiveness. The decision of the Chancery Court ultimately favored the stance of Air Gas, Inc., with all claims against the defendants dismissed and further requests for relief by Air Products and shareholder plaintiffs denied. The court upheld that boards are not required to abandon their corporate plan to run after short-term shareholder profit unless their adopted corporate strategy is entirely baseless. The key takeaways from the case included the legal affirmation of poison pills as a valid defense against antagonistic bids, conditional that no fixed expiration is stipulated. Also, the board cannot be enforced to enter the so-called Revlon mode in response to every hostile bidder's offer at a premium market price. Through this case, the court stressed the importance of fiduciary duties of directors to prioritize all stakeholders, not purely short-term share performance, even in times of hostile takeovers. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.